Guys, did you know that you can do so many really good DIYs and projects for your home decor using bamboo skewers? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you some really good DIYs and hacks that you can do with this. and welcome to my channel DIY home and crafts my name is Jess and I'm so happy and excited to have you here today and if you like home decor DIYs and projects on a budget guys make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos and in today's video I'm going to show you some really good DIYs and hacks that you can do with these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree you can find them in the kitchen section and they come a hundred in a package so oof, you can do so many good DIYs and projects and I'm going to show you what I did I hope that you can get some ideas and inspiration from this video and if you do please give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support this channel and let me know in the comments which of these ideas that I'm going to share with you is one of your favorites let me know that in the comments I'm going to be reading all of your comments remember to follow me on all my social media pages um, I'm going to leave you all of the links in the description box of this video all of them are DIY by Jess so check that in the description box and I hope you're ready because I am let's Let's do it together! For this project, you're going to need one of these wooden hanging decorations that you can get at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the circular one. Um, and I already have one. I'm going to just reuse the one that I have um, that I already stained, but you don't have to stain it. You can use it just like that. And then you're also going to need um, bamboo skewers. And if you want, you can paint them the color you want, but I decide to leave them the natural color. Um, I think it's super cute and soft and neutral. So what I'm going to start doing is to add some hot glue on the edges of my wooden hanging decor. And then I'm going to start sticking all of the bamboo skewers, um, making sure that they are as straight as possible. And um, if you want, you can use wooden glue, but this is going to take you a long time to dry. Hot glue is so much faster and you can reinforce all of the bamboo skewers later. I'm going to cover the whole wooden circle um, decor piece with the bamboo skewer and hot glue and once I have that part ready this is how it looks now just to secure and reinforce all of the bamboo skewers um, maybe you can use a piece of wood or something to put on the edge I'm going to be using some ribbon this is like a leather ribbon that you can get at Dollar Tree um, and I really like the color so I'm going to be adding some hot glue and I'm going to be adding that on the bottom part of this project and if you want you can add another like layer or piece of ribbon um, just to make it a little bit more thicker. From there, I'm going to be using a ring napkin holder that you can also get at Dollar Tree. It comes in a set of four or six, I think, I'm not sure. Um, and I want to cover the color. You can spray paint these, but I decided to use the same ribbon, like the leather ribbon that I have, just to have like the same texture and color on the top of this project. What I'm going to do is to cover the whole ring. And then if you want, you can use stems or flowers. I'm going to be using a few flowers that I have at home. They are from Walmart. They look super cute and to put all of these pieces together I'm going to add the stems on the ring holder and, and then I'm going to add the ring holder on the top with um trying to cover all of the bamboo skewers and, and this is going to give my project and my vase a really nice shape and this is how the project turned out it's super simple you can change these and you can change the stems you have so many really good options that you can try with these vase um, made out of bamboo skewers For this next project, I'm going to be using bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to start by marking and then cut all of like the pointy part of the bamboo skewers. I need um, both sides of the bamboo skewers to be straight so I'm going to cut that and for that I'm going to be using some dog nails clipper. This is a really good hack that I have tried for years and I really like it and you can get these dog nail cutters from Dollar Tree too.
once I cut the pointy part of the bamboo skewers, I'm gonna start making my project. I'm, I'm going to uh, put four of these bamboo skewers together, making a square. Um, and to put this together, I'm going to be using hot glue. It's just the easiest and fastest way to stick all of these pieces together. And I'm going to make like five squares out of these bamboo skewers. Once I have these five squares, I'm going to start putting them one on top of each other and I'm going to reinforce everything in all of the sides where they join with hot glue. Um, I want to try to make like a really nice wall decor piece. This is a really easy DIY that anyone can do. You can do this with your kids and it's going to be so much fun. And I made one of these big decor pieces, but later I decided to make um, two other ones in a smaller size. So basically what I did was to cut my bamboo skewers on half, like six inches long and then I made the same thing I cut I stick them in a square shape and then put all of them on top of each other to make my wall decor pieces now I want to paint this you can use maybe some stain but I decided to use three different colors of spray paint like a caramel color black spray paint and then some camel color um, and I spray this outside and once it is dry I hang these on the wall and this is how my product turned out and I really like it it looks so good it's super easy and so much fun to do and you can paint them any color and you can do as many as you want for only one dollar and 25 cents so it's amazing I decided to use this canvas this one is 8 by 10 inches and it is from Dollar Tree but you can make the same project with any canvas size for this project I only need the wood frame so I'm going to remove the staples and then the canvas fabric with my tweezers then I'm going to paint the wood frame with my Reveille shock paint in black color and then let it dry very well now I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree bamboo skewers. Um, I'm going to measure the size of the canvas frame um, just to be able to cut all these skewers of the size that I need. And guys, a really great tip is to cut these um, skewers or maybe dowels that are round with dog nail clippers. I always use this and I love it. These ones are from Dollar Tree and works perfect. Now I'm going to glue all the bamboo skewers that I cut together on the back side of the wood frame with hot glue. Once you finish, this is how it will look. And I love the look it gives and the color and texture. Um, but just to give it a pop of color, I'm going to place two ferns on one side of the frame. I just going to cut them and then glue them with hot glue. You can also put flowers or any greenery that you like and guys this will be the result of our project and you can hang it on the wall or you can put it on any surface and it will look amazing with a really high end looking but super budget friendly. The next project I'm going to use a round of wood plaque that I had it is from Michaels for only one dollar and I'm also going to be using bamboo skewers these ones are from Dollar Tree for only one dollar so the first thing I'm going to do is to start cutting the bamboo skewers of the same size about like five to six inches long something like that I'm going to start gluing the bamboo skewers on my wood plaque with hot glue because it dries faster but at the same time that I'm going to be gluing the bamboo skewers I'm going to be using these wooden beads that I bought from Amazon it brings 300 beads in two different sizes and they are from a really great quality and I'm going to leave you the link um, in the description box so I'm going to use the small beads size and I'm going to place the beads inside of the bamboo skewers to know what space I must 
leaf between each piece and make sure they have the same separation space. Depending on how long you want to cut the skewers is the amount of beads that you should use. And once you have finished placing all of them, um, you must cut the excess bamboo skewer that you have left. To make sure that the beads are not going to come out and they are going to stay there and strong, I will stick a piece of rope on the top, the same that I used in the first project, and it will give that finished touch to this project. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom of this vase and I'm going to glue a piece of rope to cover all those small pieces that you can see from the bamboo skewers. And at the same time, this is going to help the vase to be stronger. Once all these is nice and secure, you can put flowers inside your vase, you can put greenery, or you can use this vase for the office, um, and you can paint the beads the color that you want. I'm going to be using this stretch canvas mix pack that I get from Five Below. It comes with three canvases, um, three different sizes. And I'm actually going to be using two, the 8x8 eight eight and the 6x6 six six inches. Um, these are the perfect size for the project that I'm going to be doing right now. You can maybe use canvases from Dollar Tree, but they are going to have this rectangle shape. These ones are square and they are just perfect. So I'm going to be using this ones and I'm going to be removing this table with this staple remover that I highly recommend because I'm only going to be using the frames on these projects. Once I have the two wooden frames, I'm going to also be using wooden dowels and I got these ones from Walmart, but, but you can check at Dollar Tree because I'm pretty sure um, they have ones right now on the Crafter Squares section. I'm going to be using four of these round dowels and I'm going to start sticking them on the edges of the, of the bigger frame with hot glue. First, I'm going to start adding only two dowels because now I'm going to be sticking the other wood frame, the smaller one on top. I'm going to be sticking this with hot glue and I need to work a little bit fast um, because I need to make sure to put all of the dowels and make sure that they look straight with the canvas that is on the top um, before the glue dries. Remember that these two wood frames are different sizes, so the dowels are going to be planted a little bit diagonally but it's going to look amazing once I stick all of these a dowel this is how it's going to look my lantern for the moment and I decide to make a vase for this lantern and for that I decide to use these Yumbo popsicle sticks that you can get um, I get them from Walmart and I'm going to start sticking them on the bottom part of my lantern with hot glue Now it's time to add a color to these and I'm going to be using these wood finish stain in special walnut color. I'm going to paint this outside and let it dry for a couple hours and once it's completely dry, this is how it looks. I love the color it has. And now I'm going to give these a really cool look. I'm going to be using these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint them. I'm going to be using some black paint because I want to make these have like a very modern look but you can use maybe any other color maybe white if you want or just leave them in the natural bamboo color once I paint all of them I'm going to dry these with my heat tool once I paint 
paint all of these bamboo skewers this is how they look now i'm going to start sticking them on my lantern and i'm so happy because these bamboo skewers are the perfect size for this lantern this lantern is going to be about 12 inches um tall the size that all of the dowels and the bamboo skewers are and now what i'm going to be doing is to start sticking the bamboo skewers that i just painted in black color all around the lantern and i'm going to do that um using hot glue i'm just going to add a small dot of hot glue on the bottom of each of the bamboo skewers and one small dot on the top where the small canvas is and i'm going to be doing the same to the whole lantern to make sure that i cover all of the sides Now for the top I think it needs something extra just to kind of like cover all of the dowels and those uh, like not beautiful parts of the lantern so I'm going to be using some popsicle stick I just paint them with the black shock paint and then I'm going to start sticking four of these popsicle sticks on the top of the lantern and it's going to make these lantern look so much better. Now, if you want to add a handle, you maybe can use rope from Dollar Tree. I decide to use these um, handle from this old basket that I have. I think it's the perfect size and I think it's going to look super cool. I decide to leave it at the color that it was. And I'm just going to um, stick these with some drawing paints that I have at home. Next, I'm going to be adding a battery candle inside of this lantern. Um, and then you can add some greenery around the candle just to make it look so much better this is like a very long garland actually and you can find the link of these in the description box of this video um but yeah this is how my project turned out i think it looks beautiful amazing i'm just so happy with this project i have this idea on mine for a long time and, and i finally did it and i can't be more happy with the result and i just really really hope that you like it too guys and if you like it give me that big thumbs up it really helps to support this channel and of course let me know in the comments which of these ideas and projects was your favorite and you can subscribe to this channel you can, and of course activate your notifications so that way youtube is going to notify you every single time that i'm going to be uploading new videos and you can follow me on all my social media pages i'm going to be um, posting so many behind the scenes and photos so you can follow me there Mwah! love you so much guys bye